Yeah, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze2244, welcome to the Sonic Assassin suit only walkthrough of Chongqing in China in Hitman 3. But before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. There's also a link in the, in the description of the full playlist of Sonic Assassin suit only as I've copied for Hitman 3 so far. Also a big shout out to Square Enix for the free early access copy to Hitman 3, I really do appreciate it. And so for this one, we're going to start at the train station. Obviously, it's the default location. We're going to use any suit you want to. The ICA-19 pistol. And we're going to bring on the coin and the lockpick that you unlocked in the previous mission. So, for the start, we are actually we are actually spawning quite far away. And you don't actually unlock any of the spawns until you've actually finished the map at least once. But like I said, I want to use the default location for all of them. So I don't have any... Uh, any any comments about it or anything like that so make sure it's more fair for everybody who starts in the same locations and i don't think uh, the second location cuts out that much anyway i think you need a mastery level something not a mastery level two or something i don't know but anyway the first person we're going to take out is hush he's going to be in the apartment building and that's where we're heading to first and the reason why we're doing it in this order is because if we take out Imogen first and then we go to hush we still got to go back to the same place where Imogen is because of the data core so we're going to come through the building here, climb all the way up to the top of the stairs as much as you as high as you can, the top floor. And we're going to edge along the building to get on the rooftops. We're, all do we're doing all this just to avoid one camera, because there is one camera which you can't avoid, you can't shoot without getting spotted. So it's the reason why we're going this way. So we're just going to edge along this building, climb up the pipe, get on the roof. There's going to be two guards on this rooftop. So you just need to be careful of those. There's going to be a camera on the corner of that building there. We're going to use the lockpick to unlock this little fence. And we're going to turn off the satellite dish. We're doing this just to bring Hush downstairs and get him moving a little bit faster. We're going to shoot out that camera right there. And lockpick this door. And we're going to circle around this entire area. The guy on your right is slightly going to spot you, but not fully. So you don't have to worry about uh, getting captured there or spotted or anything like that. I'm going to still stay crouched, run, run all the way up the stairs. And there's going to be a camera at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out. At the top of the stairs, you want to pull out your coin and just drop a coin around this area. We're using that so Hush can actually come through this area and pick up that coin and gives us time to take him out. I'm going to grab this frying pan right here. And we're just now, at this point, we're just going to need to wait for Hush to come through this area. He's going to have a bodyguard there in the pink suit. He is going to come there with him. That's his bodyguard. And we're going to smack both of them in the head then take out Hush. So what we've got to do is just remain patient here and we can get through this section easy. I think this is one of the best ways of getting him because he always passes through this area anyway, but that's the reason why we turned off the satellite at the start because he comes out just marginally faster, not too much faster, probably you're saving up probably about 10 seconds, I don't know. But um, I mean, you probably can get away with not even bothering doing it at all, but because he does pass through here eventually. But doing it this quickly, uh, we do get the uh, less enforcers in the area to our left so once he starts bending down to pick up the coin that's when you want to knock out his guard knock him out as well pick up the coin that you dropped earlier so that's three you have in your inventory and you can go ahead and leave the bodies there like i said they don't even get discovered because no one else comes around that area we're going to stay crouched and come running through this section here pull out our pistol and we need to be relatively quick through here if you want to get to the place where i'm about to go once we're outside there's going to be like a big brother camera outside I'm going to shoot that, take that out. It can actually be quite a tricky shot on PS5 because there's no lock on for it. Once we come down the stairs, all the way down the stairs, there's going to be a camera down there. Right just above a door, you want to go ahead and shoot that and take that out. Just do it from up here, otherwise you will get heard though. There's also a guard down the bottom, uh, down the right here. Now if you're slow, he will be turning around at this point. But uh, if you're quick enough, you can get down here and take him out. It's not 100% necessary to take out this guard, but it's always best to be safe than sorry because you are going to drag some bodies through here a little bit later on. I'm going to use a lockpick to get through this door. At this moment in time, Imogen Royce is going to be coming up to this area where these stairs are. So we're going to wait for her in... Uh, in we're going to lie in wait, basically. And at the, while we're waiting, we're just going to put our coins into this machine, get three soda cans out of the machine because we're going to use those as a melee. So make sure you have all three of those, and we're just going to hide here. 
Now, if she's on the left side of the uh, the lab, she is going to come come to the door that's just you know in front of forty seven there. So you will have to hide in a different location for this. But you know, as long as you're quick enough, as as long as you've done it as you kept up to speed with me, she will always come this way, the way she's coming now. And this nice piece of cover there that there's a, that's blocking the guard. So this is a, you know the perfect opportunity. There is a woman there, however, that comes down. Um, so if if Imogen Royce does come down around that section, you need to watch out for that woman as well. But as long as you hide underneath the steps, you can come up to this area and get around her. Very very straightforward, really. But yeah, as the as the guard and her go past, that's when we can go and sneak up behind them. Go ahead and throw the can at the guard's head, and then do it at Imogen's head as well. And then go ahead and snap her neck. Pick up the tier 3 access dongle as well, because you know, why not? And then from this point, all we've got to do now is just drag the bodies outside in the crate, because there's going to be a lockdown a little bit later on, and we don't want these bodies being discovered. So just to be safe than safe, better be safe than sorry, we may as well dump the bodies, because there's a crate here anyway. You don't have to worry about those two guards, even though they do turn their heads quite a lot. Which, technically in real life, they should see it, but uh, in this game, thankfully, they don't see anything. Because otherwise, what would be the point of having the crate here? But yeah, you should be safe here. I've never been spotted doing this. But yeah, once we've, once we've done that, we have one soda can left. We have the uh, access dongle. And all we've got to do now to get it, we need to just hack the data core itself. So crash runs to this section. That woman is still there, by the way. She's on a phone call. She's looking around left and right. I don't know why they, they, they do that, but never mind. We're just going to drop down here. And access the camera. We're going to pull out the camera right here. And use it on the data core itself to hack the door. Olivia is going to activate all the privacy windows so you won't get spotted in here. I'm sitting the room but uh, unfortunately we have a unskippable no cutscene. I've done this twice and I haven't been able to skip it once even though I've already finished the mission so I'm not sure why uh, it's unskippable but that's just the way it is. But for the benefit of the video I'm going to skip through it. Just make sure you follow all the prompts that I get asked for you. Shit, I missed that. We're blown 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go, now. Okay, so there is an, uh, a lockdown happening right now. So, after all those unskippable cutscenes, there's only pretty much one way out. There's technically two, but uh, we're going to take the most efficient path. So, we're going to have to come through all these vents. There's a lockdown right now. There's fire everywhere. It's really cool. So, we're just going to pass through these event tunnels. And uh, we're going to have to get past some guards right here in the next section. So there's a woman coming through here. She's not an enforcer. You don't have to worry about her. There is a guard that's going to go through that room in front of us. We can't go right now because there's a guard facing the, this room. He's one walking away. So once this guard turns right, that's when we're going to pick up... Uh, well, not pick it up, but uh, select the soda can. Stay behind this guard right here. Go ahead and smash him in the head with the can. And we're going to dump his body in the locker. And if you don't do that, you can follow him all the way if you don't want to knock him out or anything like that. So if you, I don't know, if you haven't had enough coins before and you've wasted one, then you just follow him all the way and give you opportunity. You can subdue him if you want to, it doesn't really matter that much. But it's just make sure we can do this a little bit quicker, that's why I did it. So once you've gone through there, pass through this vent, climb up the ladder. Once you go through this vent, you'll be in another room. And there's going to be guards in this next section. You can't turn right because all the shutters are there. So we're going to go past three, pass through past these uh, uh, little stairs here, and then through this door and into the vent to the left. Once you climb down the ladder at the end of the vent, there's going to be a, a ladder on the other side that will take us up to street level, which is a secret access actually, which is an, another challenge that you want to unlock. Which I'm not completely sure what it was called because I've already unlocked it. I'll have to find out. But once we climb up the ladder, there's going to be two people up in this next section. And of all my other playthroughs of this, there was in a posi different position, which it confused me at first, because the usually the, the other guy would be talking to the other person. But we want to get through those, that fence right there. But there is a door straight to your left, so you don't have to worry too much about this. 
It also gives you a crowbar if you want to create a distraction to turn their heads. But yeah, there's a door right here anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Just make sure you don't get spotted. And once we've done that, we can pass through here. This is the arcade. And we just run up the road, grab the bike, and then we're out. This is the Sonic Assassin suit only for Chongqing and China for Hitman 3. So four missions down. Oh, this prompt is a bit weird. There we go. Nice little moped. The rain effects have just been really good. Aesthetically, this map is great. Reminds me a lot of the cyberpunk. Got a cyberpunk vibes. But yeah, these are the challenges that you will tick off. Nice. So there we go. So it's not really a, a really a short Silent Assassin suit only, but it's a long mission anyway because of the unskippable cutscenes. That's what adds to all the, up all the time and stuff like that as well, so... You need to keep that in consideration and the start where you spawn so far away but you know with different start locations and potentially skippable cutscenes in the future maybe in the patch or something like that then we can do this a lot faster but there you go silent assassin suit only for Chongqing. thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it or helped you out subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams there's a playlist in the description of all silent assassin suit only i've covered so far for hitman 3 Again, thank you to Square Inc for the free early access copy to Hitman 3. I do appreciate it. Big thank you to all the Psycho Assassin members of the channel and all the, re all the regular members of the channel. I really do appreciate that. If you want to become a member yourself, just click the join button below or click the link in the description. If you want to become a Patreon, there's a link in the description as well. But uh, yeah, for now, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is Argentina. See you guys there. Cheers.